Do you think machine learning can help your business grow? Everything from healthcare and agriculture to TVs and smartphones is getting transformed with the advent of artificial intelligence. But is it just the flavor of the month? How can machine learning empower you and me? Clutch.ai provides the most powerful zero-code machine learning workbench for everyone who isn't a data science expert. Last year, an Element AI report indicated that only 22,000 people have the right skills to create machine learning systems. The Clutch.ai workbench streamlines the machine learning process into a simple, step-by-step -step workflow that doesn't take much more than a few clicks. Starting with data ingestion and EDA, all the way to deploying the model in your applications in a matter of minutes. The Clutch Workbench injects AI into traditional rule-based models and we white box the black box. Unlike most machine learning, we can show you why the algorithms came up with their predictions. Without further ado, let me show you how you too can predict the future from your own data. I'm uploading a file from my computer based on a credit rating engine we built for one of the only profitable fintechs in India, but the Clutch AI Workbench instantly uploads a variety of real-time and static data. We've collected a thousand records from retailers applying for loans, along with their repayment history, social profile, and cell phone metadata. Rows from the spreadsheet are shown here. Each column is an individual with traditional indicators like their credit rating known here in India as a civil score, days they've been delinquent on previous loan repayments, also known as DPD, online behavior that lets us know about their relationship status and languages they speak, and cell phone metadata that gives us the features like inbox spam, the number of Wi-Fi points they connect to. We're gonna discard the customer ID and phone number fields since they're unlikely to contribute to credit risk. This file includes about a thousand people, so I'll be running this on a single node, but we do provide the option to run on a cluster comprising of multiple nodes for larger data sources. As soon as the data is ingested, we can see histograms that show whether we're dealing with continuous or categorical variables, and we also show in-depth statistical analysis. This helps us get a feel for the data before actually seeing relationships and recognizing patterns with exploratory data analysis. The bar graphs and histograms we saw earlier are only showing information about a single variable. Radial visualization shows us how different variables impact the target variable, aka the output variable that should be predicted, in this case, loan default. As an exploratory tool, radial visualization arranges factors on a circle based on their influence on the data. Each dot refers to one of the individuals who applied for a loan from the spreadsheet. The legend shows that defaulters are orange and those who paid back the loan are blue. Since defaulters are spread throughout, using a traditional rule-based model would leave out a lot of creditworthy individuals. In the top left corner of the cluster, there's an individual with a civil credit score of 303, but they still pay back the loan on time and there's someone in the bottom left with a civil score of 714 who still hasn't repaid the loan. Thus, outliers are also obvious with the radial visualization. We also provide scatter plots and correlations, both of which show pairwise relationships between two variables and can be shown simply by naming the analysis. I'll go ahead and name this merchant correlation and as you can see, it's created instantly. Did you know that loan defaulters tend to connect to less Wi-Fi? According to this graph, defaulters also tend to have more inbox spam. Moving on to unsupervised models, let's start with the self-organizing map. Up top here, we can see advanced parameters to tweak the model. In every instance, the default parameters have been set up to make model creation easier. We can also read more about the parameters and tweak them in further iterations. I've named this model Loan SOM, and as we can see here, 
Self-organizing maps represent the same data points in every box. In this case, each box includes all 1,000 loan applicants, with colors ranging from blue to red, the higher the values get. We can see that some of the youngest loan applicants in the bottom left of the age map also had the highest civil credit score. They were among the least likely to default on their loan. In fact, applicants with the lowest civil credit score were much less likely to default on their loans than those we saw with higher credit scores in the bottom right corner of the civil and loan default maps. Supervised models have been arranged in ascending order of complexity from logistic regression to deep neural networks. Starting with logistic regression, I'll go ahead and set the target variable to be loan status, name the model, and I'll optimize the parameters since I don't want to delve too much into the nitty gritty here at first. As you can see, it gets created instantly. Here in the confusion matrix of the logistic regression model, we can see that the model was 80% accurate with the test data and about 79% accurate with the training data that was used to train the logistic regression model. Since I'd like to see a bit more accuracy before I go ahead and deploy the model into pre-production with an API, I'll go ahead and see if a random forest algorithm performs better on this data. As you can see, it's just as easy to build this model, especially since I'm opting for optimized parameters, where we run an optimization algorithm on top of the data to choose the best parameters. By the way, this is a completely asynchronous platform. Users can easily move from one part of the platform to the next, even if it takes time to come up with a model based on your data. As you can see, the random forest algorithm does perform a bit better with this data. The confusion matrix showed us the accuracy for predicting the test data improved a couple points to 82%. Ensembling refers to combining two or more analytical models to synthesize the results for improved accuracy. I'm going to go ahead and combine the logistic regression and random forest algorithms we've built. And as you can see, the ensemble is created instantly. And as it turns out, the accuracy did indeed improve. Now that we do have improved accuracy, we can go ahead and download a PMML model that lets you download the model and embed it in Java, R, and Python. Remember I mentioned clutch.ai is unique because of how we white box the black box? All we need to do is make the explainer true and choose the number of samples you want it to be based on. We can explain every model we build, including ensembles, and this is all you need to do. I'll pick the target variable, optimize parameters, and train the gradient boosting classifier model here. As you can see, it shows up in less than a couple seconds. When we take a look at the confusion matrix, we can see there are no false negatives. The numbers we see here in red ought to be zero for complete accuracy, but at least this model is erring on the side of caution, so I'm deploying it to the server. As you can see, with just a couple clicks, you can deploy a REST API in your application. I'm sending a payload of another loan applicant here. As we can see below, we can see what variables contributed to this individual being labeled as a non-defaulter and how much each variable contributed to this rating. Predictably, his higher civil score contributed to this rating, but also his lack of dependence and lower inbox spam did. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please check out our website, clutch.ai, and follow us on social media. We're active on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, AngelList, Instagram, and YouTube. We also have a weekly newsletter that you can sign up for on our website. We send out weekly emails every Friday. 
about AI, machine learning, and the latest trends in the world of data science.